Good morning, Atlantis. We have some great explorers up there of our own, following in the footsteps of some of those great travelers of the north. Welcome to another day in space. Cover it up and then turn it off and uh, let it all mix up. Uh, let it let it flow and then after the flow we uh, let it mix. Okay, thanks. Right on. We we're just uh, wondering why they were short cycles. And Jim, we're ready to co uh, copy your transfer information. Uh, he'll get back to you in uh, just a moment. Okay. All right. Atlantis Mirror, this is UN Headquarters. Do you receive me better now? UN Headquarters, this is uh, Mirror Atlantis, loud and clear. Very good. Please stand by for Secretary General Boutros Boutros Galli. Good standing by. Um, I just want to express my gratitude that you have undertaken this mission during the 50th anniversary of the United Nations. I want to congratulate you and to tell you that we have the same objectives. Your objective is peace and cooperation in outer space. Our objective is peace and cooperation in on Earth. And I'm very happy to see uh, 
people's problem. Canada, Germany, Russia, USA, it proves international cooperation and the importance of the international cooperation. Have you to give me a message? Okay, then I want also to say something very important, that the United Nations have concluded an outer space treaty in 1965, it means 30 years ago, where we are governing the rule of the uh, uh, space. One, uh, 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 space should be explored and used only for peaceful purposes and to the benefit of all humanity. And uh, what is more important, peace must not, uh, uh, outer space must not be used for military confrontation. So once more, thank you very much for entertaining this mission during the 50th anniversary of the United Nations. And good luck, and uh, good luck, and I will be very happy to receive you uh, in the headquarters of the United Nations when you will be back uh, 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 in New York. And I'm very proud to see the flag of the United Nations behind you with the flag of uh, Canada, uh, Germany, uh, Russia, and uh, the USA. But for me to see the flag of the United Nations there give me a great satisfaction, and I want just to express my gratitude uh, to the symbolic gesture you have done and the dialogue which we uh, have together while you are in outer space and I am here on Earth. Mr. Secretary General, we'd like to thank you for your kind words and for your taking the time, sir, to address us. And uh, we are very pleased that you have seen the United Nations flag flying behind this international crew, along with the flags of each of the nations and organizations which have sponsored this mission. This flag, as you may know, was launched to the uh, space station Mir aboard the Soyuz and will be returned to Earth aboard the space shuttle Atlantis, along with the documents commemorating the space treaty about which you've just spoken. And we hope that uh, this gesture of transferring a United Nations flag from the, uh, through the Russian space agency launching to an international space, agent, space station and then returning to Earth on the space shuttle will help commemorate the uh, international uh, nature of this venture and the future that we have in space together in the construction of an international space station. We would be very proud to return this flag and these documents to you at the uh, uh, general headquarters at your convenience, sir. Okay, we will welcome you. Thank you very much to what you have done, and thank you, thank you very much for the cooperation existing between us through this dialogue. Уважаемый господин генеральный секретарь, большое спасибо вам за ваши слова в наш адрес. Мы же, я же со своей стороны хочу от имени российского экипажа сказать следующее, что прошло уже более 50 лет с того момента, когда народы всего мира, пережившие самую страшную войну в истории человечества, решили наконец-то за стол переговоров и решать все проблемы мирным путем. И вот эти народы решили создать Организацию Объединенных Наций, которая в многих случаях помогла решать самые различные проблемы, помогла помогала садить за стол переговоров самых непримиримых врагов. И не раз спасала народы и целые страны от неминуемой гибели в силу различных обстоятельств. Но из космоса очень хорошо видно, какая у нас красивая, какая хрупкая земля. Но мы также из космоса хорошо видим, какие, какой, какой материальный и человеческий урон причиняет, наносит земле стихия. И вот эти вот проблемы могут быть решены только тогда, когда народы всего мира объединятся для того, чтобы каким-то образом бороться вот с этими проблемами. И для того, чтобы в дальнейшем решать их, и для того, чтобы в дальнейшем идти по пути развития Организации Объединенных Наций, просто необходимо. Мы поздравляем все страны, члены Организации Объединенных Наций с юбилеем. Thank you. Good luck. Спасибо. Mr. Chair, 
Secretary General, thank you very much for joining us on this important international mission. Atlantis Mayor, thank you very much for a great ceremony. And I guess we'll go back to uh, normal air to ground. Atlantis Mirror, this is Houston PAO. How do you copy? Loud and clear. Okay, please stand by for questions. This is Irene Brown with UPI. My question is for Thomas Ryder. As an ESA astronaut, you have a unique nonpartisan perspective on the United States and Russia's plans to combine their manned space programs. And now that you've had an opportunity to experience firsthand Russian and NASA flight operations, how integrated do you find the programs, and what do you see to be the biggest challenges? So, uh, as you know, just a couple of weeks ago, the ministerial conference, which took place in, uh, place in Toulouse, uh, the ministers decided uh, that ESA will um, continue with the um, manned space program and make its contribution to the International Space Station. The um, experience I could gather up to now in this uh, respect is uh, extremely positive. I'm really impressed by uh, the operations here on board, the combined operations, and I think this is uh, just an excellent sign for the next step towards the International Space Station. This is Marcia Dunn of the Associated Press. For anyone on the Atlantis crew, what struck you most or surprised you the most about Mir as you floated inside? And I'm speaking in terms of sight, sound, smells, or any other senses. Well, certainly the thing that impressed me the most was just how big this place is. Uh, the shuttle is a big vehicle, but most of it is uh, payload bay, unpressurized uh, space that we cannot live in. And our mid-deck and our flight deck is relatively small. Uh, but Mir is a huge, huge home in space, and that's the thing I'm trying to think about. Uh, Bill Hart with CBS News for Thomas Ryder. Um, as a German astronaut uh, on a Russian space station, uh, do you feel any sense of cultural isolation? Uh, do you have enough to do? Do you have enough entertainment on board? Um, how isolated do you feel up there for a, for a long duration flight, please? Well, you bet that there is uh, enough to do on uh, board the station uh, um, that pertains to our scientific program, which I'm uh, approximately two-thirds of the working time uh, busy with, and one-third I'm uh, helping Yuri and Sergei as the board engineer in their task to uh, maintain the station. For the spare time, which we, of course, also have, um, we have a uh, guitar up here. Well, since uh, Atlantis stopped, we even have two guitars up here, and um, I really enjoy playing guitar. Um, we are singing together. We had already a great um, meeting yesterday evening where we all sang together. And um, the work here is, is uh, quite interesting and um, a big variety. And I think um, there is a lot to learn in view of this um, multidisciplinary laboratory, I, I would like to call this uh, future space station this way, uh, which we can learn in, in this place at the moment. This is Stephen Young with Astronomy Now. I have a question for Thomas Reiter. Um, you've been on board the space station for nearly three months now, and the shuttle crew is the first human contact you've had apart from radio and TV with the ground, and it'll be another three months before you see any other human beings. Um, how will you feel as the shuttle hatch is closed and the shuttle gradually disappears into a dot? I can tell you, beside myself, there are still two more human beings here, and we have a very good relationship. Um, of course, uh, this um, visit was, was absolutely pleasant. It's great after these, um, well, more than two months. If you uh, see some uh, friends coming up, if you can talk with them a little bit, sit together, it's um, just great. So, yeah, you're right. When the hatch closes, um, it will be a kind of heavy feeling. But um, the uh, remaining three and a half months are uh, uh, not that much amount of time, so we will get over that without any problems. Uh, a 
Frederick Castell with the BBC French service to the commander of Mir. How pleasant is it to have the visit of the shuttle and to, ha to enjoy American ice cream inside the, your space station? Говорит корреспондент BBC в Франции Фредерик Кастель. Я хочу задать вопрос командиру российского экипажа. Как доставило ли вам удовольствие посещение экипажа шаттла? Конечно, and with the ducking of the shuttle, we had a great deal of pleasure working with American crew. We, did. we socialized well, we rested well. This is an unforgettable experience for us, as well as I would expect for the American and uh, German astronauts. Uh, Neil Bowen from the Sarnia Observer to uh, Chris Hatfield. Uh, Chris, as the uh, rookie on the board, what's uh, been your biggest surprise about uh, space flight? Well, it's nice to talk with you again. Uh, the biggest surprise is just how natural weightlessness is. It, you adapt to it instantly, and it just becomes the norm to be able to float, to be able to <laughs> let go of something and have it go nowhere. It's just natural, and it's a wonderful feeling, and it's <laughs> I think it's going to be a big disappointment to get back into 1G. Hello, gentlemen. Happy to see you. I want to ask both commanders so as not to take too much time to do it quickly. I have other colleagues who want to ask questions. Two commanders. And uh, I want to be brief because uh, there are some other uh, of my colleagues who want to ask uh, questions of you. Кеннет, я надеюсь, он еще помнит русский язык, и Юра. Вот у нас на Земле сложилось ощущение, что у вас на орбите летает прообраз космической станции Альфа. Там люди из России, американцы, Канады, представители Европейского космического агентства. И я надеюсь, что Кен еще помнит русский язык. Uh, here on Earth, we have an impression that there up in space, you have a prototype of the International Space Station Alpha. You have representatives of uh, Canada, Germany, uh, Russia, and, uh, U and the USA. Of course, uh, we're just lacking a Japanese. We have this impression. I'd like to know what impression you have. Считаете ли вы все вместе? Можете вы обняться и сказать, что да, мы работаем так, как мы будем работать на станции Альфа. Или сейчас пока еще у вас идут притирки характеров? And of course we we are looking a Japanese astronaut, but this is just uh, an, an impression. And uh, but uh, and uh, I want to ask you if uh, you if you think uh, that you are ready to uh, build this uh, International Space Station, if you can embrace each other and uh, say that uh, you uh, are all set to go, or are you still uh, trying to um, understand how to work together? I have the feeling that in our current condition, uh, the uh, prototype of the uh, station, this is a correct opinion, as concerns our joint work and our joint uh, measures, this work had begun already half a year prior to the flight, and actually during our joint uh, visit in Houston with the American astro astronauts and with the astronauts in Star City, we worked well, we we rested together. Uh, now that they've come to uh, us, we understand each other very well. We know each other, we work together, and we, yes, can embrace one another and show that this is the future prototype of international cooperation in station. Uh, 
how does that one Has the equipage of Dozen? Absolutely uh, true. Uh, Each Robotic crew must Fiesta, work together Pet, Pet Patulka, in, in training. Kazdum, uh, so in, in, in each Drugum, country to uh, know each other well Patum, and then to fly into space. There they were able to deal with a new situation of what to do and how to work in difficult situations. And I know that the Atlantis crew and the Mir crew knew each other very well. And I, prior to the docking, knew that the joint flight would be successful. Houston, uh, Mir Atlantis Complex, uh, we've come to the end of what I think has been the uh, most successful mission I could have possibly imagined. We've worked together extremely well, had a great launch, uh, rendezvous and docking, and the chance to see the station Mir to fly around inside it, exchanging uh, cargo, conducting experiments, and most of all, seeing and working with friends has been an experience that none of us uh, will ever forget. Uh, Yuri, Sergei, and Italos, it has been wonderful to see you again, to work with you and fly with you. The Russians, I think it's most difficult to say goodbye, and the Russians have a much better uh, expression, which is Dasvidanya, until we, until we see each other again, the even better Daskora uh, Strecha. So, and uh, soon for a, a rapid for a meeting again soon. Yeah. And that is uh, what is in all of our hearts, that we see you and meet again soon after the flight. Thank you very much that you came, that you arrived successfully, we worked successfully, and that we will part in good company, and we will meet again soon on Earth. Thank you. And as uh, part of the tradition of flights that come to Mir, uh, we would like to add the STS-74 patch, wherever it flew to, to the bulkhead, and in addition we have a patch representing uh, phase one and also the patch from the Canadian Space Agency. So we will add the patches to the wall and uh, perhaps our crew names and all of the uh, crew in Houston uh, to the com this venture, which has been the first step in building the, uh, in trying the techniques and building, adding on to a space station, which we hope will lead to the uh, successful completion of an international space station in the near future. all that, Ken, and you have demonstrated what a beautiful compliment the shuttle and Mir Station are. Uh, great job.
uh, Lannis will uh, take the video down unless you'd like to keep it up a little longer. Uh, it's up to you. We're going to be turning to the wall here and uh, uh, signing the pictures or the patches on the wall. And uh, you're welcome to stay with us in the uh, uh, base block of mirror as we complete that process. We'll stay with you then, Ken. Thank you. Roger that. I think we're transferring the final cargo to Mir, which will be these three patches. They'll make nice additions and decorations on the space station. Is this Sergei? He's here. I congratulate you with your conclusion of flight. Unfortunately, our MCC cannot establish communication via translation, so we're observing you here from Houston and convey congratulations from our consultation group and the entire uh, Moscow management group. Thank you very much, Sergey. Uh, hang on a little bit. We'll say goodbye. Okay, we're looking at you, and if we're able to do so, Moscow will look at you as well if we can... Uh, Establish COM. We'll uh, return the crew of STS-74 to its craft so it can go back to uh, Houston, and we'll go down and visit them later. Yes, outstanding. Thank you. Thank you for good work, and we're all happy with your uh, efforts. We've uh, enjoyed it vicariously through you, our visit to the Mir Space Station. And uh, it is a little sad uh, breaking that bond right now. Houston Atlanta, standoff cross installed, hatch closed. Copy.